Uh, I, I've had longer breaks in my Let's Plays, but it still, it still feels like it's been a minute since I've done this. Hi, I'm Krep, and today I'm playing Soda Power Penguin, the Sage 2022 demo. Some of you may remember at the start of this year, same year, 2022, I played a little game uh, that was labeled Penguin Game by my friend Domo. This is that game, if you, if you couldn't tell by the shared visuals. It's gotten a new name, very cool logo. It's gotten a very cool logo. I'm very excited for this game's logo. I'm very happy for it. Um, but it's also got one whole new level. That's two levels total. So we're gonna we're gonna run right through this right now. Just zoom on through this first level that I played all the way back in January, if you can believe it. It's been let's see, it's it's September right now, so that's that's a clean eight months. It was only a handful of days into January uh, the last time I played this. And it's only a couple of days into September at the time of recording. And with any luck, at the time of posting as well. Now see, you may have noticed back in that room back there, uh, back in that room back there, there was a sign pointing the other way. Well, I decide I don't want to go that way. I'd much rather get this bottle cap. I think others would have done the same in my position, being honest. So like I said, I'm going to see how quickly I can just kind of get through level one so we can... So like, hopefully I can capture uh, anything that's been changed to level one visually. It's been unfortunately too long since I last played for me to uh, have it fresh enough in my memory to really notice immediate differences in visuals and the like. But I'm sure there's been some polish. All right, there's um, there's some iframes, but not if you just go and decide to land on spikes again anyway. It's that the game is not going to support you trying to just uh, land on spikes just so you can land on spikes again and stand on them. That's that's some real sneaky business, and Soda Power Penguin is not a proprietor of sneaky business. Oh, slide cancel. So it wants me to do something like this? Something like that. I can't remember if uh, if this particular tutorial message existed in the in the previous release or not. The higher res like UI appearing in front of the game, I don't think that was there. So I think I think that's a spot where there's been some some new visual polish and visual changes. But also, oh goodness, sorry everyone. Wow, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I did that. I didn't mean to. See, the other thing though is that I think uh, it might be trying to tell me to slide cancel for a different reason because you could do it right there, but I honestly think it's just easier to jump straight down and 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 time. Oh wait, right. I'm I'm charging, not sliding. There's a slide button. Yeah, you can just cancel your slide anytime. That's what it's talking about. See, you know, it's been it's been a whole eight months. So this is a refresher for me, and this is a refresher for y'all as well. Take a look at all of this cool Soda Powered Penguin gameplay as I just continually ram myself <laughs> into saw blades. I, I need to stop doing that, it's bad for my health. As you can see, one of the things you do in this game is you zoom off and bash into stuff with your, your little pointy penguin nose, and it rules. It's so good. You can press a button that makes your soda-powered jetpack just do stuff. It does. It does things. Oh, goodness. Do I want this bottle cap? Yeah, of course I do. Who am I kidding? Oh, those are solid from beneath. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, Soda Power Penguin. This is nobody's fault but my own, but I just I, I want to keep saying Penguin Game, but it's not it's not fair to the game. It's got a very cool title now. It's just that Penguin Game is so simple and cute that like my brain latched onto it enough for me to be like, I, I see what you're doing, Penguin Game. Like talk talk to the game as Penguin Game. That's just 
a little colloquialism for it. It's a, it's a, um, a hypochorism, uh, a name of affection. First soda powered penguin. It's just penguin game. Um, I think there's some truth to that. Interesting. I wonder if I just need to be more precise with those ones, or if there's something else that's specifically asking for me here. You know, I said we're gonna... Oh, I can just... I can up first while moving to the left. That's what I needed to learn. That's good to know. The, the up burst input overrides other burst input. And I just, I just completely skipped that balloon. That's fine. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> I tried to double jump for some reason. This is my double jump. So like I said, or like I was starting to say a second ago, before I got interrupted by my own thought train of, of things happening to me that I had to observe vocally. I said we're going to zoom through this level, but the reality is that, like, uh, it's still a challenge platformer, a precision platformer, uh, to be more more accurate to the genre name. So, and I haven't played it in a long time, so it, it might still present some challenges uh, for me. Uh, did I do this right? I think, no, the platforms are on the left. I want to go here, here. That's still wrong. That's okay. I'll just wait here for a moment. Those balloons will come back. Wanna smack this one? And then... Uh, I don't know. I... I Oh, the right, the second one is for getting up to the, the cliff on the top right. You can see just the, the edge of the ledge that it was. You see some snow hanging off it. That's how you know. That's... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Something design? Uh, scenery design? Level design? <laughs> you know, levels? You ever play a video game? I've been there. I've been to one of those. The video game. <laughs> Though the thing is, I don't remember the previous demo of this whole level being that long. It was it was uh, substantial enough. It was super good of a of an introduction to the game. Wow, did I just not get this? Or no, I think it's using new save data. It doesn't know what bottle caps I got. Well, let's take this uh, to the sending machine. All right. Yeah, it only shows me having four. Oh, and there might only be. No, I. it's telling me what's in the the hub area, right? I got 4 out of 16. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They've got all these different designs. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. That's very cute. Apparently, level 1 is called Big Beginning. So, we'll go back to the, the hub world, or hub area. Or this might just be the hub area for the Big Beginning. Who knows? It's using the same tile set. I believe the next area will look... A bit different. So let's see if we can't find that. Oh, I remember uh, playing around quite a bit in this area. I think so, anyway. It looks like there's some set pieces that are familiar to me. It's possible that. Oh, I didn't. I don't remember anything like that uh, little lockbox there. It's likely that this area is the same one. I just got uh, updated. Now, how do I? How do I get to like a bubble like that? Maybe with some slope jumps. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, you can fall faster by holding down. Very cool. Antarctic alcove. We seem to have located a new door with another. That looks to be... Oh, hey, there's a trans rights bottle cap in there. Hell yeah. Looks to be 17 bottle caps. There's a... <laughs> There's a little, a little wah man, uh, non-copyrighted, non-infringing bottle cap on the right side there. I hope I pick that guy up. New music? This is very cool. So welcome to, uh, the new content of this version of Soda Power Penguin. Still got loops, still got big jumps, but now it's, uh, underground. Everything's mossy, and... Uh, crystalline instead of snowy and rocky. I mean, there's still rocks. 
There's rocks you gotta break through, too. I'm very curious about these exclamation point blocks. I think we'll be backtracking soon. Something tells me some blocks are going to get turned off. Oh, we got some bomb blocks. All right, so first right through these. Nice, that setup was just to protect us from the the ever-growing and ever-falling stalactites. Hey, if anyone out there is, like, confused about how to keep track of what, uh, whether stalactite or stalagmite is the one sealing or the one on the ground, because we decided we needed to have different words for those things, you know, someone made that decision linguistically some however many years ago. We're, we're pinning and flinging, by the way, just in case everyone catches this. We are pinning and flinging right now. If anyone needs a helpful mnemonic for that, oh, I am your girl. Right now, I'm going to tell you uh, information that might save your life one day. The T is to lack tight. That's how you know. It's on the ceiling, because it's pointing down. It's a spike pointing down. Um, and then you can remember Salakma is just the other one. And that's it. That's how, that's, this will, this will save you someday in your life, this information. I swear on it. So I hope you all trust me. Hope you all love me for this. Thank you, I do everything for you. Where are we headed now? This room is a little open-ended. Maybe not open-ended, but it's, it's open, it's spacious, sparse. There's so many places we could be. Ooh. Well, there are some bombs we could crash there. Okay, for sure. I can I can definitely tell the the goal here is to go somewhere and come back. We gotta come back once we've hit a switch or some kind of thing, some sort of daily. We'll be going to different paths afterward. Would you look at that? The balloon was in the floor. It was in the floor. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Such that uh, I automatically hit it in my burst over to dodge all of those stalactites. Everyone remembers they're stalactites. Because they're on the ceiling. See, I'm helping you already. But it was so cool. The balloon was right there. And that meant that I just hit it. It's like the level played itself. And it was cool and fun because uh, video games. I'm just telling you, this game's good. Uh, Y'all should be very excited for when this is like a full uh, realized and thoroughly or a thoroughly realized product in the future. But you should also be excited right now because uh, the funny thing is, I hope you're enjoying watching me play this, but you too could play Soda Powered Penguin, the Sage 2022 edition demo uh, right now because <laughs> at the time of recording and the time of uploading again, hopefully, uh, Sage 2022 is happening. It's going on right now. And uh, I believe that all the stuff that's in Sage 2022 will be available to play anyway later. So. It's not like this is going to be like a, a timed, a timed sort of thing. Timed availability was the word I was looking for. You know, I'm noticing there's like a little area up there. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Yeah, I think I can do something with that. I like that cute. Look, I'm up here now instead. That's cool. I didn't really like being in that other room anyway. That other room had spikes falling on me, and they didn't seem very kind nor considerate to uh, what was ailing me in life. So, I think... I think it's asking something of this from me? Oh, okay, yeah. We're getting into actual precision platformer territory now. Where it's asking me to be, uh, go figure, precise. Huh. I'm not sure if I'm just hitting burst too late there. Because it seems like, it feels to me like I am not. I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting it about as soon as I could. Oh, but I think what it really wanted from me, maybe, was to keep going to the right and burst. I'm not sure. We're going to go up here and then do this. Yeah, okay. I think I understand now, actually. It really wants me to make use of the fact that there's multiple open sides on these ice blocks. 
yeah, look at that. And then there's ceiling. Oh, this is cool, actually. This is really good. Now that's what I call level design. That's a little tricky, though. What am I gonna do there? What do I do there? Great question. Oh, right. I, I just learned how to do this well. I just did it over on the left. Like that. It's not that bad at all. Oh, cool, and it skipped this room. That's awesome. I'm sure if I really gave that room a chance, it could have been something like a friend to me. Someone I could have really, uh, really enjoyed having in my life, but I just feel like it wasn't really working out at the time, and maybe we just need to take a break from each other, uh, in order to, in order to, like, reconnect somewhere else down the line, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure we've all known levels like that. Ooh, okay. I should not approach it from there, maybe. Oh, there's, there's spikes everywhere. There's spikes everywhere taunting me. Okay, well, let's think about this a little bit. <laughs> I'll admit, uh, I haven't quite gotten it into my hands to intuitively just um, hold down from pinning into a wall like this to immediately jump, but I think I can get there. I think I can can meet Soda Power Penguin's demands. Huh. This is interesting now. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm actually processing this now. I kept thinking I want to just go straight up to the the other wall, but I really want to do a left right thing here, so that I'm continually uh, gaining a little bit of height instead of a lot of it. You know, I'm scared of the stalactite, and I just, <laughs> I just want to get it gone, but it's just not quite working out that way. Oh, and I'm, I'm bursting too soon now to get over to that left, that right wall. I, I know my left and right. <laughs> I know them intimately. You can't prove that, that that that's not true. You can't prove that I'm lying. Um, hold on, actually. I just noticed there's a gap in the wall there. Ugh! Just noticed there's a gap in the wall there on the left. Oh, hey. All disappearing walls disappear at the same time. That's interesting. What is this room? Okay. I can get behind this. Do I... Oh, I can't... I can't, uh, spring down from a pin. That's good to know. Oh! A little soda can cannon. A little soda cannon. <laughs> That's very cute. I'm a big fan of that. See, the fun thing about video games is that you can just have several, several ideas for a single work and, like, you can put out uh, level demos and each time people will play them and be like, oh my god, you had more ideas than the ones you, you put in the last one? And you're like, yeah, I did. I came up with so many level ideas, with, with new gimmick ideas, and they're fun. Because I'm cool, I'm a game designer. Uh, that's what my friend Domo sounds like. Just so everyone's clear. Because that's, that's exactly what's going on with this game. Ooh, you know what I want to do is I want to build up just an un unfair amount of speed going into that screen. Let's see, I think I can do that. Oh, what I really want is a slope jump coming out of this loop. There we go. Now I'm in here. Now we're talking. Oh, okay. So what I should do also, this will be worth it, I swear. We're having fun. So we're gonna get up here. We're gonna zoom down. Oh man, it has to be possible to like really... Can I do it just by zooming, uh, by bursting down into this corner? That gets me more speed than I had before, but that's not... 
not quite enough. Oh, I only just now noticed that it's connected to this loop. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought there was like a whole ledge there. We can absolutely just get to full speed going through here. Easy. Up we go. Oh, man. Off screen. Oh, yeah, I think that's actually a new feature uh, compared to last time. I don't believe that little, that little magnifying glass was a thing before. Okay, I think I think I understand what they need me to do here. I just need to burst so I have enough speed when I get yeah when I do these jumps that I just dodge everything. Hooray! I'm gonna get most of those coins. It's okay. The coins aren't the most important thing in the world. I like getting the bottle caps. I think that uh, I'm a woman of culture when I when I focus wah, 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 when I focus on bottle caps over coins, over uh, monetary gains. It's about the sentimental items. Not the money I could have made by by not pursuing them. Or, or something. I don't know, I've given up on whatever, whatever bit I was going for there. Oh no, I don't like it when I land on a saw blade and then jump onto another saw blade by accident from the first saw blade. It wasn't intentional, it was an accident. I'm starting to get the rhythm of this room a little bit, except except for the parts where I just jump into multiple saw blades. See, it's helpful to be fat. Oh, I can't be fast like that when I've got stalactites that are going to fall on me. Um, sure. I mean, I, that didn't actually work out, but there was like a reality where I could have used iframes to my advantage there, taking a hit that does work out for me. Yeah, I'm... Let's just chill out for a second. I keep trying to do a burst opening with this room, and maybe that's just wrong. Maybe... Maybe I just want to hang out on that pin wall? Let these fall? Oh, that's bad, though, actually. Um, I think maybe if I pinned myself to the underside of that ice wall that I could have done something there? Oh! You know, it's, it's... It's funny in video games when you get to challenges that are giving you a little bit of trouble and you can't immediately tell why like if it's um if it's a, a skill problem uh not not being able to accomplish the thing it's expressly asking you to do or if you haven't figured out what it's asking you to do i didn't mean to dive down like that it was a complete accident and i apologize to everyone Maybe it wants me to downburst, actually. That that just occurred to me. I, oh, duh, I burst down by accident, and then... And then what? My viewers ask me. I don't know. What do you expect from me? Oh, sorry, you want me to finish my sentences? <laughs> my bad. I didn't realize that was uh, a requirement of being a Let's Player. Sorry. See, I thought I was just supposed to say words in any given order, but now I'm finding out uh, that I can just beat the level suddenly without really understanding what I did. But now I'm finding out that apparently they have to be in a specific order, and also... Oh, okay. Alright, well, uh, forget whatever bit I was just doing. Uh, it's time to leave. Wario Land 4 style. Oh, give me my burst back, please. Nothing could be more important than me still having my burst right now. Man, so this level has two tracks. Uh, I want to go here, I decided. I didn't need to do that, actually. But it's what I did. Uh, I reflexively jumped because, like, I don't know, I'm going up on a slope and it just seems like fun. 
I play games like that all the time, where you go up on a slope and it's fun. All right, we're, we're headed out. We've only got a little more than two minutes. Can we do it? To be fair though, we are zooming through a lot of the level we just played. It's a new path though. Ah, oh dang it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's fine though. I can still salvage this one. Except I still up first when I didn't mean to. Wow. Oh, another bottle cap? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Still have a lot to get used to with this uh, pinning into walls mechanic, but it is very nuanced in a way that is captivating. See, the lower, never mind. I was going to say the lower that I pin there, the better, uh, but that's actually not true even, because it turns out uh, I'll still just get hit anyway. Oh, no, I, I did that too early. I have to pin lower than that, so that... Maybe I should just... Yeah, I should just do that. Forget about that right wall. I don't need that in my life. Oh, man. Oh, my timer's been going down the whole time, hasn't it? Like, even through deaths. <laughs> See, this is fine. Uh, that's actually less fine. But it worked out in a way that's okay. I should also take it, uh, more advantage of the fact that I can just pin fling and then immediately pin again. All right, we are getting somewhere. I think we're almost there. Oh man, more. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't fling soon enough. The time pressure. The time pressure of flinging. Well, I guess I'll just uh, damage boost my way there, except I <laughs> tried to do it again. It didn't work out for obvious reasons. Oh, goodness. Man. Oh, no. I couldn't do it. It puts me all the way back here. That's smart, at least. I wonder what's up with the lockboxes. Well, we try this again. It's very cool and impressive that this game managed to work in an escape sequence. Really not something I was expecting. We just did most of this a moment ago. I think I can do it again. I'm like this close to having, oh, having like really smooth gameplay here. And when you get to that point, oh, it feels so good. That's show off mode, baby. That's what it's about. It's literally all about showing off. See, there we go like it was nothing. Never never been through an easier challenge room. Not in my life. Okay. Dang it. We'll try going to this wall instead. I don't think it really benefited me much. I should actually get two jumps off it. I don't think it really benefited me much either. I think the way I was handling this before, well, aside from the like the the possibility of landing on those spikes on the top, let's just go down here instead. That's something. Yeah, that's something. I can do that. Easy. Oh, that's the wrong direction, little guy. No. Oh no! It sent me back to my earlier checkpoint and everything.
Okay, let's actually go down this time. We were actually quite a bit away from the start of the level. Uh, much further than I thought when we were going through this the first time. Ah, oh, dang it. Thank goodness I hit a checkpoint. Oh, nice. It actually lets me go over the top of that wall. Yeah! <laughs> 25 seconds left, baby. 7 out of 17. That didn't happen to get uh, the trans rights bottle cap. No, but I did get Mr. Wah. Everyone loves Mr. Wah. That was the second level of Soda Powered Penguin as shown in its current state in the Sage 2022 demo, which again, you can go download right now. Play for yourself. It's at Sage, the Sonic, Act Sonic Amateur Games Expo. For anyone who doesn't know, have, I've, just, I've just been saying Sage this whole video, assuming everyone knows what that means. Not everyone is, is as a Sonic online community pilled as me. All right, uh, thank you for watching. I've been Crep, as I usually am, and I think this game is quite cool, even in its current state. Can you imagine that, a two-level demo being this cool? But it's this cool, and that can only mean it's going to get even cooler as it gets further in development. Look forward to the future of Soda Powered Penguin, everyone. Oh, and if I missed anything substantial in this demo, all the more reason to go download and play it for yourself.